Good morning, morning PHS. PHS. I'm Jay Bernagra. I'm Ayi De La Rosa. And happy National Pasta Day. General announcements. <laughs> Work permit applications can be picked up in the counseling and admin office, as well as in Mr. Whelan's room, room 912. Completed applications can be dropped off at Mr. Whelan's room before school from 7 a.m. to 7.45 a.m. Or it can be dropped off at Mr. Whelan's mailbox. If you have any more questions, please email him at this email address above. Red Ribbon Week is this week. Red Ribbon Week is dedicated to promoting awareness about drugs, alcohol, and tobacco. Come out to both lunches to see what activities we have going on each day. There will be dress-up days each week. Please pay attention to find out what the week's dress-up days are. I'm Javier Nagar, anchor of TNN, and I'm currently interviewing the representatives of Homecoming. First off, we have Monday. Woke up like this. Okay, Monday is pajama day. You know, this is Monica. It's a lazy uh, some day. Some sweats or pajamas. Well, yeah. you can wear some shorts. Um, don't wear shoes. Those are overrated. Shoes are overrated. You don't have to do your makeup. Secondly, we have Clash of the Classes, which is on Tuesday. So basically, for the freshmen, wear the Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. I'm Jack the Skeleton, as you see. You know, this is Sally right here. So, yeah. Juniors are Ghostbusters. And seniors are Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. All right, Wednesday, we have Living and the Dead. Hey guys, so on Wednesday, uh, upperclassmen, so juniors and seniors, wear dark colors, and sophomores and freshmen wear bright colors. All right, next up we have Thursdays, which is class colors. Can we start with the seniors? All right, seniors are crimson or red. Juniors are gray. Sophomores are blacked out. Freshmen are wear white. I think I didn't know you were a freshman. All right, next up, let's go to Friday, which is Spirit Day. All right. Make sure to dress spirited and wear crimson on Friday. I couldn't tell the difference. Juniors and seniors, the ASVAB test will be given on the November 8th after school at 12.15 in the library. The military uses the AFQT score from the ASVAB to determine eligibility to enlist. Then, the other scores from the ASVAB are used to determine which occupations you can pursue in the military. Those thinking about joining the military as an option, please take the ASVAB. Sign up for the ASVAB is in the main office. Space is limited, so please sign up soon. Club and class announcements. Would you like to help improve the world through community service? Then become an Interactor. Join in on the fun of the Interact Club in room 513 every Monday after school. Interactor time. Students who are interested in joining HYLC, please stop by Ms. Guzman's room, room 805, Mondays after school. We have fun events planned this year. The deadline to join is October 30th. If you want to play guitar or ukulele, Guitar Club invites you to come to room 607 on Mondays after school. We are a club that helps each other learn new skills, we have ukuleles and guitars here that you can play. We also sometimes build and or repair instruments. Hope to see you Monday. If you're a member of HOSA, remember that our officer meetings are every Monday at 7 a.m. And member meetings are every minimum day right after school in Mrs. Runner Room 9, no, 610. Meeting attendance is important, so please let us know in advance if you are not able to attend the meeting. Attention, dance club will be starting in Mr. H's room in room 508 right after school on Tuesdays. Come learn some cool choreography and meet new people. Inter interested in preparing for the ASVAB? Please come to ASVAB study group in room 305 on Thursdays after school from 3 to 4 to go over the areas which you will need help. Don't forget the ASVAB will be administrated in November. So get ready. Senior announcements. Seniors, both your senior pictures and baby pictures are due Friday, October 27th. If you'd like to include a baby picture, the cost is $5. Pictures can be emailed to this email right here or dropped off in room 804 with Miss Mayton. Seniors, an admissions representative from UC Merced will be on campus October 26, 2017 during 7th period to meet with interested seniors. The presentation will be on UC Merced academic programs and student services. Interested seniors can sign up in the main office. Please sign up, please complete the NU slip and turn it into the main office by October 25th. And if you missed any of the announcements, please click the link in the description down below. And if you're interested, if your club's interested in Club Corner, please email me or Mrs. Zano. Okay, um, the blood drive is November 3rd. You could pick up parent permission slips in the TLC or the ASB window. Um, the deadline to turn in those parent permission slips is October 31st. 
and all blood donations are going to be helping the victims of Hurricane Harvey and Irma. One pint saves three lives, and every two seconds someone needs blood. Um, you get a free t-shirt and food, and then permission slips are in the ASB window over the TLC. Good morning, PHS. I'm here to talk to you about staff versus student dodgeball. If you would like to be a player in the staff versus student game, uh, come to the gym by 445 tomorrow night, and the game will be starting at 5 o'clock. Entry is free, so come out, students, to go see your team participate. I'm here again with another former TNN star. The one that laid down the strict rules, shut down most of our ideas, but it was still great. The man, the myth, the legend himself, Nico. Hi. <laughs> Nico, what college you go to? I go to Stanislaus State University uh, over in Turlock. How was the transition from high school to college? I would say the biggest difference between high school and college is that I'm not driven to school. I drive myself to school. Uh, that's that's one of the biggest differences. Um, you get a lot of liberty when you go to college. Um, most people think that oh, college is going to be an absolute pain because I'm going to be. I mean, it's basically high school but worse. Well, no, I only have two classes a day, and each of them are about an hour long each, and the classes I want to take. Um, for example, I'm taking a computer science class in two in the afternoon, and my other class of that day is starts at nine in the morning. With that, is there anything you miss about PHS? Uh, the fact I'm doing TNN, that's like the biggest thing I miss because it's, it was actually really fun doing that. Um, the other thing I miss about PHS was kind of just uh, like the, like a lot of people are more like forced into being friends because like they're here and they have to be here at the same time. Most of the time, if you make a friend, you're gonna see that friend like once or twice a week. Uh, Nico, another question, one more before we leave. Is there any professors you want, you want to talk about? Um, oh goodness. If anyone knows me from high school, they know that I don't remember names. But there are a few professors that I want to say that, um, real, like the professors that you will get at university, you'll get some really nice, really awesome professors that, uh, that will understand that, yeah, he's busy. Yeah, he has like stress right now. I'll, I'll, I'll cut him some slack. Uh, for example, my, uh, my English professor, um, like this last weekend, I had some major car trouble. And I told them that like I had some major car trouble, I couldn't get everything done. Sorry for that. This is what I have done. And, and if, it, if it was just like I just told them, like, this is what I have done, I didn't finish it, he would have given me no credit. But like he gave me like half credit because I was honest and he kind of sympathizes because this is the second time that my car's done that. And he knows. He knows. Um, yeah, that's, that's, some um, that's, like, college seems like a big step, and it, you only make it a big step if you make it your, a big step, if you get what I'm saying. Like, it seems like a huge, monstrous task in front of you, really, it's just more school that you can spend, like, two hours at and then be done for a day. One last question. How do you think about the new TNN? I have watched the new TNN like a few times while uh, while waiting for a class to start. It's actually really nice. I've seen some of the new things that you guys have been doing. Uh, I don't want to I don't want to discredit my own work from last year, but I'm gonna actually say yeah, it does look better than than it did when I was the head honcho and all this. Uh, Ushuaia, good job uh, for like improving on what I thought was perfect. But now I know it's not. <laughs> and that's all the time we have for today. Thank you, Nico, for coming out. That was College Corner. More at 11. More at 11. Oh, God. <laughs> Hello, PHS. Welcome back to another episode of Positive PHS, where we recap all of last week's goodness. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is actually where Positive PHS stands right now. Uh, currently, this is my last week here uh, at PHS. Uh, but don't fret because Positive PHS will continue going. Uh, right now, the two in the two accounts that we have, the Twitter account and the Instagram account, uh, will both be ran by Sarah Russell and Cheyenne uh, Gonzalez. And with that being said, let's just jump into the main show. Uh, and so we had a lot of stuff happen over uh, the course of this week. We had cross country. Uh, they had you know an event over there. We had uh, a student, Deja, who is a senior here for a prep project, had a farm to fork event, which I you know, personally attended and it was just amazing and so we have that as well. Uh, we have Friday night's football game against Sirius, good job boys. 
Uh, we have Family Feud night. That was amazing. Uh, I believe it was the avocados that won, so congratulations to you guys as well. Uh, and as well as a few other cool little pictures and videos in there. So, my name is Dominic Aragon. Thank you guys so much. Uh, and here's the video. Hear what you're told, think that you know, see what you're shown. Watch it get old, watch it get so. Teach what you learn, speak what you heard, hear what you're told, nothing but words. Watch it get old, it only gets old. Teach what you learn, nothing but words. Just like this verse, reach for the air, fall to the dirt. Then know that hurt. Watch it get old, speak what you heard, hear what you're told, see what you're shown. Think that you know, watch it only get so Man, I'm only getting older, longer legs and bigger shoulders Heard I'm getting smarter, not dumber Heart turn cold when it's hot in the summer Since seven, I've been cold, sipping hand no cheap and endo Like we indoors, but it's no doors on my new Porsche, I guess I just be tweaking, no, and dream the unthinkable And praying they make them true, hoping they do come soon And then I'm gonna make my move, but still I'm not bulletproof We could all sing the blues, we could all hear the news But I ain't come here to lose Watch it get old, watch it get old, teach what you learn, speak what you heard, hear what you told, nothing but words, watch it get old, it only gets old. I've been too quick with the advice, I just want to be right like a dad, right? When you walk into my shoes, I'm a tie tight. You can tie tie like you ride a bike, it could buy a cry when you ride at night, head on his shoulders ain't his own. Someone told him his favorite song, someone told him to watch his tone, someone warned him of danger zones. Who forced the hand to make the clone? Who stands in line to take the throne? We only know what we know until someone knows better. A rose by any other text will still be Rosetta. Hmm. Reach for your goal. Say what you're told. Think that you know. See what you're shown. Watch it get old. Watch it get old. Teach what you learn. Speak what you heard. Do what you told. Nothing but words. Watch it get old. It only gets old. Reach for your goal. Hear what you told. Think that you know. Watch it get old, watch it get old, teach what you learn, speak what you heard. Time for me to move on now, it was probably just a silly crush anyways. But I just can't help but think that we, we could have had something. Have I really been blind to reality? Baby, tell me. I'm Augie De La Rosa, and happy National Pasta Day. Pasta Day. Pasta Day. Pasta Day. Pasta Day. Pasta Day. Clean that Happy National Pasta Day. Pasta Day. Pasta Day. Pasta Day.